What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here. Today is New Year's Eve, the first day of 2019 is tomorrow. So for the video, I'd like to officially give my 2018 review of Black Ops 4. And then I wanna talk about the future of the game, give you guys my predictions and a whole lot more. I say this every year, but honestly to me, it just seems like 2018 flew by so, so fast. I don't know what it is. Tell me if you guys feel the same way down below in the comments, but I, I just remember Black Ops 4 getting announced over the summer and then like shoot a couple months ago, the game's already out and now 2019 is already here. Like it's honestly so crazy how fast this year has gone by. I've had a lot of ups and downs. I've had ACL surgery. I've recovered from ACL surgery. I'm going to be moving into my new house. I have a lot of other announcements on the way that you guys don't want to miss out. And so yeah, 2018 was truly an amazing year for me. But now Black Ops 4 has been out for about two months now. And this is how I truly and honestly feel about the game. Black Ops 4 is my favorite Call of Duty game to date. And I do say that honestly with, you know, the true passion and, and the true fan of the whole entire Call of Duty series in me. My first ever Call of Duty game was Modern Warfare 2. And then the next game that I felt was the best Call of Duty in the entire series was Black Ops 1. And then that was followed by Black Ops 2, MW3. But now, before all of those games, honestly, I really, really feel Black Ops 4 is the best game for me. Like, for one, there's just so much content we have. More content than I've ever seen before in a COD game. Like, we have, you know, new specialists coming out. DLC pretty much every single month. Like, the, the tiers is such a great system. I really do feel that Black Ops 4 is the best game for me. Some people may disagree because they don't like the multiplayer, which I disagree with that. I absolutely love the multiplayer. I love the specialists in the game. I know I'm in the minority, but you know, something like, like a character system, kind of like Overwatch or Rainbow Six Siege is what I've been hoping for, for a long time to happen in COD. And now it's finally here. I really don't mind the specialists at all. I think it adds a whole nother level of character and customization into the game and backstory all that kind of good stuff so I do not have any quarrels with the specialist characters but like I said a lot of people may disagree with that but if you don't like the multiplayer side of the game then you can just go ahead and play blackout which is pretty much like another game in itself like blackout to me is more fun than Fortnite I I was a decent player at Fortnite I wasn't the best but I don't think I was bad at the game either but in terms of Battle Royale, I think a Blackout just is way better than Fortnite because, you know, there's no building. You have to play more tactically. You have to think about your moves. And, you know, if you were just a decent builder in Fortnite and you had somewhat of a, of a decent aim, then you're going to dominate in the game. But for Blackout, like, every little movement that you make could have a different outcome in the game. So that's why I love Blackout so, so much. You have to methodically think about your moves. And so, yeah, just alone for Blackout and multiplayer for Black Ops 4, that honestly is just worth paying the money for the game. Like I said, Blackout is an entirely new game pretty much, but then you have multiplayer and then you have zombies. So you get so much content within Black Ops 4, more content than any other COD game that I can remember. If you guys haven't bought the game yet and are still curious, I would definitely say get it. And you may even be able to find the game at a cheaper discount online somewhere. But again, you do get so much content for the price of the game because you pay 60 bucks regularly for just multiplayer. And that's maybe if you play the campaign or zombies, if you are one of those few players who do play all the modes. But for Blackout, it's like an entire new game in itself. Kind of think of it as paying for two games in the price of one. Treyarch has done such a great job of adding new content and updates to the game. They have communicated well with fans for sure over on Reddit and Twitter. And think about it, the game is only going to get bigger from here with more specialists coming, more maps, more weapons. Heck, I think in the next few months, Blackout is going to surpass multiplayer with the player base and in terms of popularity because Blackout to me is way more addictive than multiplayer. 
and I cannot honestly wait to see what's going to be happening, what new changes are going to come out for the game. It's kind of sad at the same time though because I think Black Ops 4 has a really good multiplayer, but for me, it's just way overshadowed by Blackout. I love Battle Royale, I love how Blackout is set up. And so yeah, like I said, things are just going to get bigger from here on out. So definitely, I would rate Black Ops for a 8.5 to a 9 out of 10. I think it's one of the best COD games I've ever played. And I'm saying that from, you know, playing about 10 years of COD. So um, I do have a lot of time under my belt in the COD series. And I definitely think this series is not dead at all. Um, Call of Duty is still very, very popular. Um, so yeah, but that's just me guys. Tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments. What do you guys think about Black Ops 4? And again, I have some very, very amazing things coming out on the way for the channel. I'm going to give you guys a little teaser right here on screen. This is what I'm currently working on. And so yeah, things are just going to get way, way more exciting. I cannot wait to show you guys. And so yeah, thanks for watching guys. I love y'all so much. Have a safe and happy New Year's Eve. Don't party too much. You know, like I said, be safe. And I hope everybody has a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see you guys later in 2019. Peace.